Hi everyone, and welcome to another one of uh, my podcasts. Um, uh, it's been another wee while since I put up my last one, guys, and the uh, reason for that was um, I decided not to put another one up because I wanted to see uh, what uh, I wanted to see how to get on with my EMA, the Electronic Marked Assignment, which is your last assignment uh, for uh, the modules in DD131 and DSE141 that you'll uh, complete. Uh, if this is the first um, video, one of the videos you're watching, um, this uh, be these are open university uh, courses at levels uh, one, which you have to do, uh, and before you can progress on to level two, which will be the next step. You know, happy to say, uh, in my open university um, uh, profile, um, that that behind me, some of you can see. If you see, look at the orange uh, study map. I explained that in the, some of these before. That's um, obviously the one, that's the study map, uh, which you'll always get a study map for each of your modules, that's the one you'll get for DD131, uh, Introducing the Social Sciences. Uh, to get on, to no move on guys, I'm happy to say I passed um, both my EMA, so did electronic assignments. Um, you like all the assignments, you're given a month to do them. Uh, they aren't marked by your initial tutor, tutors that you get to start, they're sent off to another tutor in England or Scotland, or if you live maybe in England or Scotland, but we sent in or Northern Ireland. But to cut a long story short, the assignment that you do for uh, well, the last assignment you do for DD131 and DSE 141 will not be marked by the same tutor that marked your other TMAs. For anybody that doesn't know what TMA is, it's to your marked assignment basically, it's the um, assignments that you submit to get your grades, which then build up to pass the degree in the long run. Um, generally it does take a couple of months, so it does guys to get the marks back, uh, but what uh, we found was, uh, the Open University students, was that you actually get your marks back a little bit early, and our marks were due on the 19th of July, and I'm happy to say we got them back on the 12th of July, so an entire week early, which is great. So, um, like I say, you're generally waiting about two months for the marks, which can be a bit daunting, so it can, so it can, um, so it can, so, um, that's just something to bear in mind, guys. There's no, there's no getting around that. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, there's something else I'd like to show you in this podcast today, guys. And I would like to uh, recommend you a book to read. Now, in one of my last podcasts, I showed you the different books and things that the Open University does supply to you. But this is just something that some of us may want to read um, in your own time and things, you know. Um, and what I would say is, like I have said in the previous podcast, guys, for anybody that's not interested in, in reading, it is something that you definitely want to get used to because with psychology especially, which is what these podcasts are about, there are an awful lot of reading to do. So there is, you know, um, and like I say, if you want to look, if you want to see the sort of materials and books that the university do supply to to give to you, then you can um, have a look at my uh, video that says materials uh, for DD131 and DSC141. Okay, but. The book I want to show you guys is a book I read um, quite recently. The name of the author, author sorry, is Jed Rudenfield, okay, and the book is called The Death Instinct. Now, this author, author sorry, actually uh, previously wrote uh, the the interpretation of murder, okay. And why I find these books are so good is because there's two main uh, characters uh, in uh, well, there's two characters in um, the interpretation of murder is. Uh, Jed Rudenfield's first book. Uh, the two main characters, well, two characters from writing that book was uh, Carl Gustav Jung, who was a famous uh, uh, social scientist, um, who, and a lot, a lot of you will be familiar with him, Carl Gustav Jung, and he was famous for his interpretation of dreams. Okay, and the other uh, popular name that the book focuses around is someone that I suppose anybody that's ever st- is ever going to study psychology and has studied psychology knows the name and his name is uh, Sigmund Freud okay so the book the books that uh, Jared Rudenfield writes are based very very much around uh, these two uh, key figures okay now a lot of the book does contain an awful lot of fiction however there is an awful lot of factual information in them as well so uh, like I say very very interesting um, to read it's not going to help you in the early days of your studying okay it's not going to help you but at the same time these are two books uh, that i felt um sort of painted the pathway for me and made me finally re- realize that psychology is definitely something i want to do you know um but and as well obviously 
a few other things. But I'm going to show you the book here, guys, to the death instinct, okay? And uh, hopefully, when I get a good look at it, maybe pause it uh, so you can see it and maybe take another reference number and go and buy it. Um, it says in the back here that it's seven ninety nine, but I'm sure if you went on Amazon or something like that, you can get it for cheaper. But I'll show you the new book anyway here, guys. And there it is there. Okay, so Death Instinct, Jed Rudenfield. Uh, and as you see up the top corner here, there's the book. Uh, it's really able to say that he also wrote The Interpretation of Murder. Um, for all the books, guys, that I read, uh, I, 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 I would say this is one of the best books I've ever read, which is... Um, which is which is brilliant in terms of um, some view into psychology. You know, um, I'll just read. I'll read this out very briefly here. The um, the opening statement to the book, and it says, "On a clear September day in Lower Manhattan, the financial center of the United States became the site of the most massive of a terrorist attack that had ever occurred on American soil. It was 1920. Despite the largest criminal investigation in United States history, the identity of the perpetrator perpetrators remains a mystery. So that in a nutshell guys is what the entire book is about, okay? Uh, so it's not purely based on psychology, but there's an awful lot of psychology background to it in terms of the main figures behind it, okay? Um, so I hope this poor podcast has been helpful guys. Um, I know we didn't discuss an awful lot about psychology yet. Um, but now that I've completed uh, the D131, DSE141, and I've completed them and I've got my grades, um, I, I, I hope that I'll be a more confident in ask, answering any questions any of you have. So, uh, like I say, many of you have me on Facebook, and if you have any questions, guys, please, please feel free to come back to me, and I'll do my best to answer them, and if I can't answer them, I will look into them and get someone who can answer them. Um, so yeah, guys, anybody's about to start the module, uh, very best of luck, hope it goes well for you. And from my fellow colleagues that have just completed it, uh, I want to say congratulations to everyone. Um, it, it's it's been a bit, it's been a fantastic journey. So it has with its ups and downs, but we got there in the end. And uh, I, I think it's important, like Kevin, it's, it's important to keep on moving up and onwards. So big congratulations and a big good luck to everybody uh, who's about to start uh, their degree, their modules for the degree in psychology. Okay, thanks as ever, guys. Thank you.